Hey, welcome to Farm Talk Friday. I'm Ken Jordan. This is my beautiful wife, Giovanna. And we're here in Costa Rica. We do it every Friday. Most Fridays. Most Fridays. And we shoot for 1 p.m. PST, and sometimes we're late because of me. Yeah. Hey, mas o menos pura vida. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get into it. Let's first talk about some stuff we did over the past weekend. We uh, went to an amazing party for conservationists down in the Osa Peninsula. Super good. Uh, it we was... posted pictures on our personal feeds, but also Green Wave House yeah. and Green Wave page on Facebook. And it was uh, on the Modoc, uh, this big uh, conservation ship boat uh, uh, on uh, Pete Bethune's uh, Boat. Uh, Hi, Jane. He is uh, Earth Race uh, International Conservation. Earth Race Conservation. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but he is international. Uh, anyway, it was great, and um, and then Sunday we did our quarterly no, talk about uh, our quarterly revisito, but we don't talk about that. So. We just told like hundreds of people. <laughs> we just told ones and ones of people. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, this is the best framing of our chicken tractor we've ever had on a Farm Talk Friday. Look at that beautiful wedge design. It was designed after the Triumph TR7 of my youth. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> that was my first car. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyway, it's looking really good right now. Okay, so uh, let's get into it. Okay. Who's first? Uh, I don't know. You could go first. You have a list, too. All right, we're going to first talk about uh, permaculture principle number two. Yes. Uh, catch and store energy. Uh, let me give you some examples of that. Uh, probably our, our most obvious example that we have going on here at the Green Wave House is, um, is our solar panels. Our solar system. Yeah. How many panels do we have, baby? We have 24, I think. Okay. And I would like more. <laughs> so we may get more, I don't know. Anyway, so that is an example of care, uh, capturing and storing energy. We run the house on that? Um, well, we run we run everything. It's grid tied, so if we're not making enough, we use the grid. If we're if we're generating a surplus, then uh, it goes into the grid, and we get to buy it back later for a lower price. Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. So uh, other examples that are not so obvious are pickling. Uh, when you pickle anything, and you make pickles or, or um, kimchi or whatever, or sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. You know, that's an example of uh, catching and storing energy, making jam, uh, harvesting and drying and making, um, freezing our um, Rosa de Jamaica. Rosa de Jamaica. And also our lime hurts. juice, yeah. our lime juice. So we, we basically try to, there's so many lime trees around. And we, now orange juice too. And now orange juice. But we try to basically end up with frozen lime juice to last the whole year when, when they're not in season. So uh, another example is compost. So taking okay. our, our leftover food scraps okay. and other items and then... Um, making compost, that's another example of, care, of capturing and catching and storing energy. What about water? Even though we don't really water, capture water. Right, we don't, we, don't, we don't capture rainwater for ourselves, but what we try to do is slow down the rainwater so it, does, so it doesn't just run away from our property. We try to keep it so it, so it replenishes our aquifer right here in this yes. area. And happy belated birthday, Uncle Larry. I see you on. Hey, Larry, we're going to see you next week. <laughs> I hope so. Are you yeah. coming out from Chicago? Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's in Chicago. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, and the reason why we don't store water here currently, even though we have water storage tanks, is 
they would fill up rapidly. And then during that time period, that's not when you need the water. And then they wouldn't last very long. So we could use it, you know, maybe we should just fill them up next time. And then we would have some water for, I don't know. Anyways, it's, well, we, it's been we, a little complicated. Yeah, we do fill them for emergency, but we would, because we're an all or nothing climate, like all dry for six months and then all wet for six months, it's not the best uh, climate to to try to uh, capture and store water. It's better when it rains off and on throughout the year. Yeah. So that's that. Well, honey, you, I think you did a great job for permaculture principle number two. <laughs> okay. And uh, so today's actually day four in the permaculture pinup digital advent calendar that I started. And so I just posted that on my personal page, a link that goes back to the permaculture pinup page. Which is fantastic, by the way. I went there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's very cute. So that's day four. So that means there's two more permaculture principles that you could learn about before we talk about them here on Farm Talk Friday. Uh, and then do you have other things that you want to talk about or? Sure, man. What about that squirrel that you okay. saw yesterday? So first of all. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. I, I love the squirrels in this area. The squirrels here are the best looking squirrels in the world. <laughs> this is true, this is a fact. Now, uh, even in Costa Rica, they don't have good looking squirrels like the ones we have here in the southern Nicoya Peninsula. Peninsula. Okay, so our squirrels are these beautiful auburn, reddish brown colors with a kind of a black stripe and they're super black cute stripe. and playful. Anyway, so I was walking down our little driveway and I just heard this like metallic sound like tick, 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 tick. <laughs> and it sounded really close. So I look over in the tree and then this squirrel stops chomping on something and he looks at me like, oh, I've been caught. And he stares at me and I stare at him. <laughs> the stare off. Yeah. And it was so funny. He just completely froze. And then I just left and then he started to chomp in again. So, yeah. Yeah. So That's cute. It was pretty cool. Yeah. The, some of the animals, it's like they get caught. And they're like, I'm so guilty of eating the food here. Like somehow they know that we have a part in why it's there. And then, you know, we just try to back away so that they feel comfortable. And it's working. We have lots of wildlife here. It's really fun. Um, hello, Matt. Um, I would also like to say that now that we're coming out of rainy season, um, we just get to see so many stars at night. It's so beautiful here. The, the night skies. Estrellas. It's just fantastic. Yeah, it is. It's been really, really beautiful. Uh, and then, honey, what about the, the fallen corn? I thought maybe I would give that over to you. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is what we've learned. Uh, we, if When we grow corn, we are only growing corn for these animals here. We are not going to get one ear of corn ever because they just attack it and eat it all like even before we see the ears of corn. So uh, we just hope they appreciate that. So I do want to make a correction and just say that the ears of corn are actually still on there, but it does look like an animal tried to get it and pulled it down and like it's not broken, um, but it's bent. And now two of them are on the ground and the rest of them are okay so far. But clearly someone's on it looking, knowing that they're gonna be ready soon and telling their friends. All right. Yeah. So yeah, other things that I have to talk about. Um, oh, I'm wearing these earrings that I got at the last um, Mercado Delicioso. That's uh, the market that I help organize for our little eco village here. And we're having another one on Sunday. And these earrings, um, the artist will be coming back. She makes really pretty stuff. And, um, and then her friend that she comes with makes some other kind of jewelry. So I tend to, um, I don't make any money um, organizing this market, uh, but I do spend money. So I'm like in the red every market that I throw. <laughs> <laughs> I like to support the artists and uh, yeah, 
That's it's all about giving here at uh, Rancho Delicioso and the Green Wave House. Yeah. Um, media for the week. I've been really trying harder to post pictures and videos. This week I took a bunch of pictures and I haven't gotten those up yet, but I took a few videos and I uploaded those. And so one of them is, uh, I, there's like two that I can't remember, but one specifically is like a little tour of the goddess uh, garden that will be a tiny temple one day. Mm -hmm. And then the Yoni garden. Mm -hmm. And I was like filming myself, you know, I feel very much like a grandma sometimes with the technology. So I'm like filming myself, like, cause I wanted to talk. And then I tried to like push the button so it would like turn around the other way and it wouldn't do it. And I didn't want to spend a minute trying to figure that out. So I turned the camera around and then I was like, okay, let's go on tour. And I took the camera down. So the videography is not the best because I couldn't, you know, it's not, the cameras are not, video cameras where you have the image playing back if you turn the camera around. So I, you know, the angle's a little weird, but it's also kind of interesting, that angle. Yeah. And you still get the sense of what I'm trying to accomplish in those two gardens. So um, enjoy, you can go there on the Green Wave House Facebook page. And uh, Ken, do you wanna talk about what you did this week with the help of our friend's son? <laughs> who is looking for a job. He just graduated from the University of Costa Rica and he's a biologist. And if anyone um, needs trees counted uh, or butterflies documented or other things, um, he is, he is he's, super <laughs> capable he's of many super things. Smart. And he was way overqualified to do this one job. But what we've done is we've uh, put the entire... Farm Talk Friday library on YouTube. So um, you, we have a collection Hi, on we have a collection on Facebook to watch them there. I don't know if that's been posted. The collection actually the saved video. I don't know how to. Oh, anyway, I don't know. But on I'll try and figure that out. On out. YouTube, it's actually on my page. <laughs> but we just posted it, right? You just said that you posted it on my page. But we're gonna post it on Green Wave House. Yep. And on Giovanna's page. Um, the channel is called Farm Talk Friday, or the playlist is called Farm Talk Friday. I'm not really sure about any of this. But anyway, yeah. we have all the videos, like 74 videos up. And you know, it's kind of like our weekly diary. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what he said. It's like the diary of our life, because I really, really didn't like either episode one or two. Like, not a good look. <laughs> Very pandemic looking look that I had in that video. And Ken's like, can you please try and find it again? I'm like, well, I can't find it. The computer's slowed today. I think this is a sign. I'm like, plus I don't like this video. I look terrible. He's like, come on, this is the diary of our life. I'm like, oh, okay. Because you said it that way, sure. But please don't go looking for that video. Um, Okay, we won't say what date it was. No. So, uh, uh, <laughs> honey, your friend John Ryan's saying hi. Hey, John. And he likes your shirt. Oh, thank you. And he wants you to come to Miami. Yeah, he's just saying, wait, you should come to Miami in March. Okay, we'll go. We've been looking for a reason to go to Miami. Well, it's your birthday. You decide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're talking about Miami Music Week and um, or the other thing that happens there, that's huge. Um, what do we call that? Gosh. Art Basel? I don't no, know. not Art Basel. The thing in March. I can't believe I can't Winter remember Winter Music right No, the other one. This uh, festival. Oh, yeah. Ultra. Ultra. Yeah. Do they still have that? Yes. Anyway. They, yes, they have it. Um, anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure we'll be able to make that. I have a, a week's worth of activities. It unfortunately runs, um, which used to work out really great when Ken was touring. But um, that was like my birthday week. That's mm. my birthday week. Honey, what are we doing next week? We're going to San Francisco and we're going to be there for a special event, um, the 11 year Wait. anniversary. Should we talk about that first? Cause it's... Of Electronic Awakening. Are you talking about the market? Yeah. I just talked about it. Oh, you did? Good. Yeah. So, Wednesday is solstice. Uh, well, sometimes solstice people are like, it's the day before on the 20th and you know, 
whatever. Um, it used to be the 21st, that's when we would celebrate. And so um, that's what we're gonna consider solstice right now, especially here right now on this episode of Farm Talk Friday. So next Wednesday, December 21st is the 11 year anniversary of Electronic Awakening, um, which is a documentary. And yeah, it's a really, it's a cool documentary just about the spiritual aspect of um, the electronic music culture. So, um, do you want to talk, say anything else about it? Well, I think you're going to be on a panel, aren't you? We are both going to be on a panel. We're both going to be on a panel. And they might ask us permaculture questions on that panel. And uh, it's at what club? Temple. It's at Temple Nightclub in San Francisco. In San Francisco. It's Wednesday the 21st? Yeah. So it's not a full screening of the documentary. Oh. Um, it is uh, clips of the documentary and then a panel and then an after party. All right. Yes. And I think yes. I'm DJing at the after party. And Ken is going to DJ at the after party with other amazing artists. So this is also on like my personal page and Ken has shared it as well. Um, so you can find it, just search. Yeah. And then I think I think we've covered pretty much everything, except for the compost tea. Um, Adriana was making some last night, and I, I heard this noise, and so this like brought up the squirrel scenario. I text Ken, I'm like, there's a weird sound coming from the vivero, which means our nursery. And he's like, oh, that's just, that's just a squirrel. We had a moment earlier. I saw him, he stopped, but then, you know, he started again. And that's the noise you're hearing. I'm like, I don't know. It sounds very machine-like. And so I discovered that um, we were making compost tea and it was kind of outside of the vivero and uh, it had been left, um, which is fine. It, it can be left unattended, like, you know, it can run overnight. And um, But we actually got some rain the other night where it came down really hard, not for very long, but you know, like a good five or 10 minutes. And I didn't want it being left out and then being diluted by the rain if we had another downpour. So we had to move that last night. So anyway, that was not a very interesting story. That was. But it was something that happened here at the farm this week. And uh, just to wrap it up, I do want to um, mention Honey, our girls. everything you say is interesting. Oh, thanks, baby. <laughs> But our girls are still going strong. I saw that Guy gave us another green egg today. Our, our girls are our chickens. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, we don't have five girls. We just have five hens. Um, and they're, they're right behind us. And they're just, they're so cute. And um, the two new girls, or the newest girls, they're getting so much more comfortable. Like, I, I walk by and... You know, of course, they think that I always have food for them, um, you know, because I do cheat and give them snacks and stuff. But uh, I think that they're just generally more comfortable. Like before, they used to hide from us, you know, like we would approach and they would like go to the opposite side of their of their little home. And now they come out to make noises and look at me with their one eye. Because <laughs> that's what chickens do. You know, birds, they can only look at you with one eye at a time. So... <laughs> Anyway. All right. So we hope everyone has a wonderful uh, weekend. And if anyone is in the San Francisco or Bay Area, um, come out. Come see us on Wednesday. If you're here in our area of Costa Rica, Sunday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, is the market here at Wonderland. And we have some new vendors as well, as well as some old vendors. But um, our friend Philip is actually going to be there with his boho rockers, which yeah. are like high-end hammocks. So that should be cool. And then Francesca just called me and said, hey, I want to come sell clothes um, with Julia, her, her daughter. So it should be fun. Anyway, we send you all lots of love. And now we're going to hypnotize you with Hello Kitty. Yeah. Good. See you next week on Farm Talk Friday.